Hello, Grand Harbor members. This is Troy Perry, your director of golf. We're out here on hole number one. We're going to do a rules situation for you. So I've just blasted my tee shot 345 yards. I wish down here at number one and I end up on the cart path. You can take this cart path situation um, to any location on the golf course. Doesn't matter. I just happen to choose this location. Here's the age old question. Where do I drop from this location? I'm in the middle of the cart path, a little awkward, I'm right-handed. Some situations come into play. Here's the process that you want to do. Here's your ball. You want to figure out what is the nearest point of relief that's no nearer the hole. And that's your options. It's not a choice of which side you want to go on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple tees. I'm going to mark off where I could drop my ball, the nearest point, with me taking my relief, make sure that my stance is not on the car path and the ball's not on the car path, which would be roughly right here, and I'm headed in this direction. And then if I was on this side of the path, I'd have to figure out the same thing. And the reason I brought my rangefinder is I'm at an awkward angle. So if I measure this spot right here, because it can't be any nearer the hole um, from where the, my ball is, if I measure my ball, I've got 59 yards. So if I come over here, I gotta find my nearest point of relief that's not near the hole. And again, I'm right-handed, so it's stance has to be off the path. And the club at which I would use, in this case would be my lob wedge, I'd have to put in my hand. That's my nearest point of relief as long as I'm at least 59 yards away. So let's just measure that real. 57 right here. I've gotta come all the way back right here to get my nearest point of relief on this side of the path. Now what we do, if Ben can kind of take a step back for a second, you're going to notice that here's my ball. My nearest point of relief on this side of the car path is right here. My nearest point of relief, where I'm no longer uh, closer to the hole, is way back there. That's probably about, I'd say, 20 feet from me. This is about 5 feet from me. This is not an optional rule. You have to take the nearest point of relief. So this could be bushes in my way. If there was bushes in my way, it's kind of one of those situations where it's kind of like tough luck. You're taking a drop here. You know, in my case, I might just hit off the car path instead of them dropping in a bush. But for today's ruling, I take my um, relief right here. Now, one thing you can do, um, you see PGA Tour players do it quite often, if their ball uh, went, this is one of those situations where you can actually replace your golf ball. So if I'm going to take a relief at that point, take that one out of play, maybe it's just scoffed, I just want to take it out. It's one of those unique situations in, in the rules of golf where you get a chance to uh, actually substitute a golf ball. Let's just say I decided to substitute a ball, that ball is no longer in play, I take my drop, I've got a driver here because you get one club length, no narrow the hole. Okay, I'm going to continue on. I don't have another tee, so here's my trusty chapstick. Put that down on the ground. And you have what they call a semicircle. Somewhere right in there is where you need to drop. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's not narrow the hole and you get this little half moon, a little semicircle. Drop your golf ball from knee height nowadays, which the USG must have done a lot of testing because you get way worse lies dropping from your knee than you do from your shoulder. It doesn't get a chance to bounce off the ground. And you drop, the, you drop your shot. And then I'd go, oh my goodness, because I'm absolutely buried in the rough now. But again, with this particular rule, good lie there, right? With this particular rule, it's nearest point of relief, no closer to the hole. End of story. Figure out which side of the car path that happens on, and you have to take your drop from there. You don't get a choice in which side you want to go. And that's your tip of the, tip of the week for the rules this week. And Ben uh, did one for us for... Uh, chipping out here today. So hopefully you got, you got a glimpse of that video as well. Take care, everybody.